Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on some fun wood and metal projects. For our first project today, I'm going to be making some decor boards. It's been a while since I've made them. Today, I'm going to be using the three brand new colors I loaded up to my website. So a couple of these are the new colors in the Sweet Pickens line. Patina and Birdie, aren't they just gorgeous? Now, Just Peachy has been around for a while, but it is new to my website. So I am loving, loving these colors for spring. We are going to make these boards look old and decrepit and chippy, and they're gonna be good. I cut my boards out using my jigsaw. I've got a ton of videos on making them, so if you haven't seen those yet, be sure to check them out. It's super easy to cut them. You just gotta take your time. But I do like to put a hole in them in case people like to hang them. Now, the easiest way I have found to do that is just to use one of these simple wood bits for my drill. I've got a 5 8 inch on here today. Usually do this outside, but it's freezing. So we're gonna make do and then I'll just clean up my mess. Now I want to distress the boards a little bit. I've still got my, my wood tool. I'm just going to put a couple like random slices in a few of them. Maybe they have been used over the years. And then with this one too, I like to actually just like make some holes. Why? I don't know. Fun texture. I'm gonna begin by adding a little bit of resist to these boards. Since this wood is completely raw, that milk paint is going to soak in so fast. So I've got a little bit of my Sweet Pickens Dark Beeswax here. That's gonna provide a beautiful aged finish. And it's also going to keep the milk paint from sticking in the areas where I apply it and help it chip off more in those areas. Now, look how beautiful that wax also sits down into these little marks I've made. So that's going to make this board just look even more old and decrepit. I'm gonna start mixing up my milk paint here. I'm mixing up all three colors at once because I'm doing small batches, but once you mix it, you need to use it. I have started with a quarter cup of water here in each can. I'm using a nice hot water. And then I'm going to do a quarter cup of paint. When I am painting boards and stuff like this, I am looking for a lot of texture, so I don't mind if my paint's a little chunky. Um, and not super, super duper mixed up. If I'm painting furniture, I usually use an immersion blender and make sure it's blended well. You wanna stir it for a good couple of minutes and it should be a nice milkshake-like consistency. I've also decided to take just a little bit of my DIY dark, dark, dark and decrepit. I've decided to take a little bit of my DIY dark and decrepit onto a couple of these as well, just to make a little different look. That way they're not all looking identical, even though the shapes are the same. This is an all-in-one product. It has a built-in sealer with it. So if you're using it to stain wood like this, you actually don't even have to seal over it. It's a great product but you can paint over it. This will give it a little bit of resist, um, not as much as the wax, but if it does chip and flake off over the dark and decrepit, it'll just give it a nice aged look instead of exposing all raw wood. Now that the paint has sat for about 10, 15 minutes, you can see it is nice and thick, like a nice thick milkshake. So we will go ahead and apply it right over the dried, dark and decrepit and dark wax. I'm using my Klingon brushes. If you put these in a cup of water overnight, the paint will virtually fall out of them the next day. So I love using them with the milk paint because it does not come out of your brush quite as easy as the DIY paint. 
Now I'm not looking for 100% full coverage here either. I'd say about 90% coverage. <laughs> Yesterday I painted up some spindles I chopped up with Moody Blue and a Lantern, also by the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, but I wanted to add a little bit of the patina to this one, and I'll show you here in a little bit my inspiration. I use a heat gun for a little bit of extra chipping and crackle effect. By using the heat gun in the spots where the paint is thicker, you'll see I start to get a beautiful crackle. And then once it's dry and I go to sand it, that is going to chip off just beautifully. it is time to distress all of these spindles and boards. I've got a sanding sponge for the chippier pieces. And then I also grabbed my orbital sander with some very, very lightweight sanding paper. I've got 220 and 600. Now that all of our spindles and boards are distressed, it is time to seal them up. So I'm going to be using a combination of products today. I have got my beeswaxes here by the Sweet Pickens line as well. I've got dark and black. I'll be using some clear. Then I've got the new formula top coat. This is in a matte finish. I'm really excited to try the new formula and I wanna let y'all know if you're watching this video right when I put it out, I have marked down the old formula top coat, just $19.95 for a pint and $4.95 for a sample. Um, I love the old formula too. I'm really excited to try the new formula, but if you're looking for a good deal, run on over to my site and grab that old formula before it is sold out. I've also got the new tongue oil here. Sweet Pickens does a great job with their finishes, so I am really excited to try this out as well. And we're gonna try this over the board I left raw wood to see what kind of finish it provides. I started with some clear beeswax here just on an old brush and I'm going to apply an even coat over the entire board. Wipe any excess back with a clean Viva paper towel here. And I could stop right there. That would seal up the paint. That will refresh any raw wood projects you have as well but I wanna make this one look a little more old and decrepit. I've got some black wax. And I am just going to apply that. Since I already put the clear on, it will help uh, provide a little barrier. The black won't soak in quite as quickly. If I didn't put the clear on, that black would soak into the paint really, really fast. Beautiful. I'm just gonna hit a couple of the edges and corners. I don't wanna put it on the whole thing. I poured a little of the top coat out into a little cup here and I'm applying it with a clean chip brush. I'm digging the new formula. It dried very matte and it did not flake the rest of the milk paint off. Sometimes when you reactivate that milk paint with a liquid top coat, you can run the risk of extra chipping, but I was happy to find that it stuck very well. 
on a few of these spindles. I'm also going to go in with some of the Sweet Pickens white beeswax. I love it. It's going to give them a fresh spring look. I used a combination of waxes on the different spindles for different looks and as I show the final pictures I'll let you know which one I used on each piece so you can see how they came out. Here's a look at the color Birdie without any wax and then with some clear and black so you can really see how that wax can just take your projects up a whole nother level. Here's a final look at the decor boards. I am loving these new Sweet Pickens milk paint colors. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried the milk paint yet and if you're going to try it now. Some people are intimidated. Don't be. It is so fun to play with. This is just peachy with clear and dark wax. These boards are $19.95 each on my site. This is just peachy and birdie and I did this one with the new top coat. This is the beautiful color Birdie. I used clear and black wax on this piece. And here is a board in Patina. I used clear and black wax on this one as well. The final board, I left raw wood. I just wanted to see how that new beautiful tongue oil worked and I love the way it made that wood grain pop. The tongue oil blend is unique. You can build it up multiple layers for a really durable finish. It's great for outdoor use, to refresh teak wood, and after it cures about two weeks, it is food safe as well. If you're wanting to shop any of my projects or check out any of the paint and products I'm using, you'll find everything over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. I'll be sure to link everything down in the description box below so it's easy for you to find. I thrifted this piece when I was shopping with Sammy. It was $10 and I knew as soon as I saw it and flipped it over, I could take it apart easily and turn it into projects. It just took a couple of little wrenches to unscrew everything and here we have some beautiful pieces. Now that I've got all of these little pieces apart, I have painted a couple of the spots with just some DIY black velvet where the metal was more exposed. And I'm going to use some floral foam in these smaller pieces, glue that in, and that way the sprigs of greenery have something to stick into. And then these I thought would just be great. You can just stick a sprig of greenery in and switch them out seasonally. I love when I can find projects that I can take apart and upcycle into beautiful home decor. Now I have got four sets of these beautiful salvaged metal florals for sale, and I was able to save a few pieces for myself that I will be staging up on my mantle for the spring. I used some cherry blossom, no, they're dogwood blossoms from Walmart, these beautiful little white flowers and some greenery I had in my stash. The other great thing about these projects is I can use up little extra floral pieces I have laying around. Such a quick, easy project, but such a beautiful high-end look. Drop me a comment below and let me know if you're going to start rethinking some of the pieces you're seeing at the thrift store. If you're enjoying these wood and metal videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and send it over to a friend who you think may enjoy it as well. That's going to help my YouTube channel continue to grow. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the important thing, that little bell next to it, if you change that to all, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends. Sweet Pickens does a great job Hey friends!